And so I think folks that are there are actually going to appreciate the fact that it's going to be climate controlled. And Absolutely. we have that stadium yeah. over that. It's, that's even an option. So hot today, yes. We're going to feel like summer. Let's take you live to downtown at the closed roof and closed window out there. I'm sure those ACs are already cranking, getting it cooled off in there because we really haven't cooled off much during the overnight. It's been relatively mild, especially for this time of year. And the fact that we have overnight lows in the upper 60s, it's so our current temperature at 68, not going to get much cooler than that. We typically see our coolest part of the day around 7 a.m. So we perhaps will drop off a degree or two, but and going to warm up really quickly today because the sunshine will be out and we've still got those warm winds. So 70 at the uh, 9 o'clock hour. By 10 o'clock, we're back up to 73. For the cold tailgate, we're back up to 81 by noon as everyone kind of packs things up and starts to head into the stadium. We're going to be already at 84 degrees by 1 o'clock kickoff. And, of course, we talked about uh, the fact that the roof is going to be closed. This is why. 88 degrees by 3 p.m. And then as the game wraps up, we're going to be in the upper 80s. Uh, not just here in central Indiana, but we could even push the lower 90s over on the western side of the state. Now, clouds will start to increase as we have a weather system to our south. It's going to start to build in. This is not going to bring in any rain for us today. This is around 1 o'clock this afternoon. And then as we get into the evening tonight, you'll see your daytime highs right here. And then after 5 o'clock, that's when we'll start to tap into a little bit of moisture. So really anytime after about 5 p.m., a few stray showers are going to be fair game. And then widespread rain takes back over during the overnight. So I'm going to call it mainly dry for your girl cast as temperatures drop out of the 80s back into the 70s. Sunset today at 747. And then rain's going to be likely as we get into tomorrow. In fact, tomorrow and Tuesday will be our transitional days. Still warm in the morning at 68, but with rain and thunderstorms in the vicinity all day, we're only going to reach the upper 70s near 80 for a high on Monday. Here's how all this plays out. This is 2 o'clock in the morning. Scattered showers, isolated storms. First move in. Looks like it's going to be a wet commute for your Monday morning. And then as we get into the afternoon, the showers are going to become a little fewer and far between. We'll get a little lull in that widespread heavier rain. This is at 5 p.m. on Monday and then through the overnight. That's before this next cold front picks up, and this is going to be a pretty potent system. So already by 7 o'clock in the morning, the rain is back. The line of storms is going to come through in the middle of our afternoon. That's going to be the game changer for our temperatures. Rain will eventually be out of here, especially by early Wednesday, and then that much cooler, drier air returns on the back side of that. So we'll, grow, we'll drop from, uh, well, near 90 today, back to 76 by Tuesday afternoon, and then we are well below. This is the average high line right here. We're going to be well below that for the first day of fall. And then the next few days after that, 66 Wednesday as we kick off the fall season, 49 degrees Thursday morning. We're in the upper 40s again on Friday with a high of 72. And we've got some nice pleasant weather to get next weekend started.